How's it going today, guys? This is Upside Down Ace, and this is the Zonda R. This is a really weird car because it's definitely not road legal. This thing would kill people if it drove past it. And according to sources, it's not race legal either. It's like too loud for a track. Speaking of loudness, that noise! It's like an F1 car that got combined with a grizzly bear that is just constantly fighting a dragon inside the exhaust pipe. It's ridiculous! It's so loud! Like, Forza Horizon has quiet engines, and this car is so loud! It's ridiculous! So we got off-road performance right there. Decent. Uh, actually, not bad, to be honest. I mean, it's got really, really thick tires. No, no tread on them. Straight-up race tires. So, I mean, off-road performance is okay. Every time I tried to e-drift in this thing, I snapped and fishtailed. Every time I just like, That's the noise it makes when I fishtail. It was so annoying. There's just so much power in such a light frame. I mean, this is a 740 horsepower engine from Mercedes. It's a 6 liter V12. It's awesome. It's from the Mercedes CLK GTR, which is a racing car. Freaking awesome. We're gonna go in the interior, do some interstate driving so you guys can experience the terror and the noise is even louder in here. It's even higher pitched. It's like the, the grizzly bear and the dragon in the F1 car got mixed with the mouse and now the mouse is like just it's crazy this engine note. So only 15 of these were ever made and they cost like 1.8 million dollars, so it's ridiculously expensive. Um it can track all your downforce, and then it, like, saves them so you know when you're getting downforce at what time, and you can adjust it for better lap times. Pretty cool feature there. <laughs> it's so boring to explain it to people. We got 0 to 60 in 3 point... Uh, not even 3 point something. 3 seconds. Really? Actually, 3 seconds 0 to 60 is considered slow by some people. A lot of cars have gotten under 3 at this point. This thing only weighs 2,300 pounds. So, this is really a good competitor for the Sesto Elemento. But, I think, personally, the, the Lamborghini is better. Because, upgrade-wise, this car is pretty weak upgrades. I mean, you can upgrade the tire width, the drivetrain, and the diff. That's it. No engine upgrades, no tire compounds, no weight reduction. That's all done for you, apparently, by Pagani. Now, this car will do a Nuremberg green lap in 647, which is like blazingly fast, but doesn't really matter in this game. And it's the first Zonda to have a flappy paddle gearbox. That's kind of cool. Uh, innovative, right? Not really, but neat. Neat thing to have on the car for $1.8 million. You would expect something nice. Driving through the tunnels now so you guys get even more awesomeness on the noise. Overall, I like this car. I didn't like it for drifting. I, I struggled drifting with it. I don't know. It just was me. It has a ton of grip. Super fast. But this is my favorite noise in the game. By far. This is the best sounding car in this game. I'm biased because it's powered by Mercedes. But still, you can't deny that. So guys, that's the video on the Zonda R. The review wrap up kind of deal. Comment below what you, th what you think of it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. BAM! Crash! And as always, don't forget to subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos.